I'm Carly Wilford and I run Iron Music TV. I really like BMC so far. There's a lot of really familiar faces here. It's very chilled out, but very educational at the same time. Every single panel that I've been on, I've looked at the crowd, it's been really busy. And the people in the crowd seem to be very interested, very attentive, um, and here to really learn. And I think that's really essential on something like today. Um, so on today's panel I've been talking a lot about new artists and how they can break the music industry. So talking about getting your first foot in the door and what that sounds like, what that looks like and giving people hints and tips on how to break the industry because some, sometimes it can be quite tough. A lot of doors can be closed or they can be seen closed and trying to give people opportunity um, and ideas of how they can work their way in basically. The music industry is such, it seems like such a big place. Actually, it's very, very small. So places like BMC and events like BMC are really important because it gives people an insight into how small the industry can be, how close the people are that you can actually speak to, and also opening the doors on an industry that so many people want to know about and so many people want to be in and I think it suddenly brings all of those people to the forefront because nowadays a lot of people hide behind emails and being able to see that those people actually exist and they're not just a computer somewhere is a really really important thing and also I think once you've cracked the music industry yourself being able to pass on that information to new people is really important. Who am I looking forward to seeing? You know what, the most thing I was most looking forward to today was actually seeing what the other people on the panel had to say and a lot of their advice because I think when you're a panellist yourself, being able to soak up and hear the information but also be able to input to that as well is really invaluable. Like I learned so much today from both the panels that I, I was on um, and there's just a wealth of information and a real broad spectrum of people speaking as well. I think one message that across all of the panels today was to be authentic, be really honest and to follow your passion. Get into the music industry for the right reasons and ensure that you, you're not afraid to work hard because it ends up being a lifestyle, it's not just a job and if you want to be in it for nine to five, maybe the music industry isn't for you. I mean there are certain areas that you could work in that would do that but a lot of the time it's about really loving everything about it, going to gig still, loving the music and always taking it back to the music because that's the whole reason that we're in this. Um, I've always done online content. I started iMusic TV as a platform for my presenting. So that was, it was almost like a chicken and egg situation. So I started doing that. I'd done radio a long time before, hospital radio. And then what happened was as I upped my profile through the online stuff, I then got more opportunity within radio. So took that. And um, I was on Rinse FM until very recently. But what seems to have happened now is I'm still doing radio, but now the TV thing has come back again. And I think that's because I'm more confident as a person and more confident being in front of a camera. So it's just funny that I think the further you evolve, you never know what opportunities are just around, around the corner. So I'm just fronting a campaign for UKF and Desperados, which is over the next six months. And it's a big online campaign, so much fun. And because I've done that, it's kicked open the doors to other opportunity. But the online world's really exciting at the moment and I think it's something that everyone needs to keep an eye out for because not only from when TV switched to YouTube things changed, obviously the streaming world, everything in radio is about to change. St. Lowe's obviously headed over to the States to do stuff so I just think that's another, over the next two years things are going to be really really exciting with regards to global radio stations and where that could head. So come back next year and tell us how you get on. I will do of course, thank you so much and thanks for having me. <laughs>